Alrighty, we're back, and given what happened last time, I'm gonna give another tour of this little town and see if I can just spot people that seem to be uh, waxing aloud about all of their problems. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. This guy just wanders around. Whoa. Oh, that was a different person. <laughs> I'm like, did one of my did one of my pawns just disintegrate? That lady Margaret's a kindly sort. Okay, yeah, this, this guy just keeps wandering around and saying that. Is there aught you require? I'm all paranoid about what I might be missing now because of before. Mind, I have time for a citizen in need. Cool. Well, I'm trying to find citizens in need. <laughs> Any tidings to share? God damn it! Everyone has so many barks. <laughs> everyone has so many barks. Anyway, I noticed in the audio last time, freaking voice audio is so low in this game most of the time, and I already have it up. I need to play an NPC voices, pond voice. Yeah, voice volumes all the way up. I can't make it higher. Dynamic range is, is small. I want the voices to stand out. Voices are mixed so low in so many things that seem to be meant to be professionally made. I'm like, I just want to hear them, please. What brings you here? Yeah, I don't. Uh, master, it would be prudent to rid yourself of any excess items. Oh, baby Bless me. me our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Tell me what to do. We've naught to discuss. All right. Well. I, I felt smart for spotting that one guy that needed help earlier. I'm in your debt, sir. And not there he just is. for saving my brother. You helped me learn a valuable lesson today. Ne'er again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. I can see why people just startle you by walking up to you and interrupting you. Because how, how do you tell who's a quest giver half the time with all these random barking NPCs? The other day, I espied an elf of all things. Seems they have a village nearby. They ill favor living alongside the people of other races, dwarves in particular. I understand their reluctance. They live several times longer than we do. I reckon that sets us apart. Not to mention their tongue is a mystery to us. If you can't share a jest, sharing a village is out of the question, eh? A man blithe is just doing everyone a public service by being eight feet tall and shirtless. Can't not look. It's impossible. They're hinting at a local elf village. I'm wondering if I go up there, I'll find it. But if nothing else, I do want to go back here and check out the backwoods nest. Let's see, set waypoint. There you go. So yeah, before I go back down to the capital, I want to do a little open worlding. This place is still awful. I want to investigate what the nests are like, but that was just kind of like an intriguing, dangerous looking interior location. And I've also been kind of curious about the fact that the roads just kind of go off in that direction. So I'm kind of wondering, I was kind of wondering going in if I'd find another town there or something. And then they're talking about there being elves nearby. And if that is actually unique dialogue to a specific NPC that's right in that town, then that's helpful information. If it's like pawn barking, it might be less useful. <laughs> but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. Uh huh. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Yep, I'll heard be that sure one. to keep that in mind. And then you took an arrow to the knee, and everyone clapped. And that baby was Albert Einstein. <laughs> a ladder. That's a good find. Oop, bad guys. I saved him from the lightning. <laughs> I'm a bad teammate. How is everyone so aware of how drenched and dripping I am all the time? I mean, I guess I would notice. Oh, going the wrong way. 
I'm already tired of this game letting me run for only five feet at a time, considering it's a giant open area. <clears throat> it's at least you, at least all your dudes can help you slightly, but oh my god, you feel so throttled by how little you can move. Greetings, it's me. I guess maybe when I was getting jump scared by dialogue, it might have been because B is the talking button and the running button. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. I say we forge on together for as long as we may. This is as fast as I can go. Up uphill murders you. Like, this was a noteworthy thing in Deus Ex Human Revolution. It was like, why does Adam Jensen only run for, like, five feet and then immediately get winded? He's supposed to be an enhanced human being. Ah! Rude. That was the wrong button to use. I'm tired. Thank you. What? Ah, no, I just want to loot the body. Calm down. Please calm down. <laughs> Your combat movement is so funny because your character just sprints everywhere and like aggro climbs everything. Right, we're almost to the weird cave. We'll check that out first because it might be the most intensive thing. I'll lead the way. We saw this on the way back, but I didn't want to bring the escort people in, because from what I remember of the first game, Dragon's Dogma is consent... Willingly into darkness. Dragon's Dogma 1 was content to fail you all the time on missions. And then that's that it. That's it. You failed the mission forever. Sup? Are those traps or wards? They look like they're just warnings. They don't look like they're trapped. Oh, it's a trap! Found the, found the trap. <laughs> found it. There's a trap. Eh. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to use throwing weapons a lot of the time. One of these days I'll have a good one. Oh, this was it. <laughs> this, there wasn't a ton to this place, was there? Well, thousand gold. Hmm. Well, this area... Oh, there we go. This area lived in the back of my brain for a while. Where do I have a pickaxe? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon Oh, there's something here. Might I be of assistance? Uh, go! Good job, AI. Proud of you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Try again. There you go, buddy. <laughs> this game's so fucking funny. It doesn't mean to be, not this way. Why are arrows so good at that? <laughs> okay, so there's more cave, that's good to know. Uh oh. Why are there wait, why are there dogs in here? Ow. Behind the cave in. There must be another exit, I guess. Ah! They're still alive! Yeah. Overconfidence is an enemy. <laughs> Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> uh, here you can hold on to these. Picking up all this crap now.
Please, Mew Mew, would you carry all of my skin? And gristle. I need to get a home with like a, ch a chest or something. Wow, I really loaded up her weight and didn't really lose much of mine. That's, we just have such a significant difference in carry weight. Ruh row. I've got two of these. The soft neck wrap. A slightly different elemental resistance, but who's wearing entire pieces of gear for one point of elemental resistance? I love a harse. I love a harse bud robrant. <laughs> Definitely know what those words mean. <laughs> the in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. And now I have not had time to research yet what the relationship is, what 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 might be the origin legend of these stories where they tie a single knight to a dragon. And their fates are intertwined, and so on. Because uh, I finished recording the last episode for four hours, went to uh, had to had to edit and render that, and then go to bed the moment it uh, came out. Uh, I, was, I was ready to set it to upload, and then go to sleep, to wake up, and then go back to streaming the game. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's what covering this stream is like uh, this. Uh, that's what that's what covering this launch is like. So this is a dead end. Okay, okay, stop climbing. Hi! Oh! Agile fucker. Plunging attack! That reminds me I need to do more air attacks. Air plunging attack, air grabs. Let's just see what I can do there. In particular, I saw that he, uh, this is the funny thing, is that I'm now aware of the microtransactions and the controversy around this game, which I wasn't because I just went in and played it. Uh, and there's a few things going on, but first of all, the, what I learned is that from the microtransactions, uh, the little smoke thing that attracts harpies, there's a smoke thing that tracks harpies. It's one of the many descriptions I would have got probably if I read the description of every item, but there's just a lot of items to process this early on. Oops. Erase. There we go. All right, let's see if this leads anywhere. But the uh, there's a there's specifically a smoke thing or a fragrance thing that attracts harpies. Whoa! Oh hi. Okay, well, cancel that thought again. Ooh, apples. <laughs> I'm on a tree. Ugh, I'm on your face. Guy. Oh, my stamina is full. Look at me go. How am I not suffering more consequences for doing this? Oh! They're coming for me. <laughs> Get you a man you can climb. Stabbing away. Alright. He's not throwing me off very well so far. Oh, uh, that might happen soon. Oh, okay, I need to let go. I need to let go. I'm gonna run out of stamina. And running out of stamina is very annoying because the character just st stops working for a while. <gasps> Apples! I feel like the first game started off being much harder. Uh oh. oh! <laughs> That's a very long telegraph for that attack. Hi, buddy. Stab. Straight back, just right back to it. 
Here I go. He hasn't even reacted to me this fight specifically. Got him. Ah, oh, the quest, his quest was to do that. Ooh. Wizard's hat, rugged bone. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. That was startling. No harm in picking a few. Uh, did you see the thing? Ingredients. Your Apples. <laughs> if you keep picking up every little oh, there it is. Find. Cinnamon bark. That sounds tasty. Well, that was an easy kill, but I'm immediately too heavy again. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, sort by weight. Modest camping kit. Blech. Oh, not, oh god. Yeah, the camping kits are super heavy. That'll do it. That would do it. Okay, anyway, so there's a there's like a pheromone or smoke thing that attracts harpies, and the point is that you can then grab the harpy to be carried up higher. It says that in the item description, and that's how so that's how I would reach that one chest that was really high up that I was trying to figure out how to get to, where I was wondering like, is there a slow fall or some kind of ability? But the sad part is I learned that through my, reading the microtransaction for the item because this game has microtransactions even though it's like eighty dollars. So games are already more expensive and it has microtransactions, but it has stupid microtransactions, so I'm like, I'm relatively willing to forget to ignore them, because it's dumb that they're there. But I think every Capcom game has had these kind of like low effort microtransactions. They're basically like, buy a consumable, to the point where one of them is spend a dollar to get an awake stone, which is that item that I use to come back to life if I die. It's a single-use item, and you can you can spend a dollar to get another one, and you can spend it. You can do that five times. There's five separate copies of the same microtransaction, which is it's so, itself is inherently funny that they can't come up with a way to buy this thing repeatedly without just listing it five separate times. But uh, I don't know who's spending five dollars for five awake stones when they're just in the game already, and there's other stuff like that in the transactions. It's weird. But more controversial is that. Uh, one, the game apparently just runs like trash for a bunch of people, which surprises me because I have had zero performance problems and I didn't have to I didn't have to troubleshoot at all. So I'm like, it what? This game's not running well for people? That's a surprise to me. <clears throat> but the same thing happened with Helldivers and a bunch of other games where my friends that have better computers are all struggling to run games lately, and I haven't struggled to run any of them without and I've never had to troubleshoot anything. So I don't know. Guess I'm just built different. <sighs> And then the other thing, I guess, is that there's just no option, and I just saw that when I was launching the game, there's no option to to uh, start a new game or have multiple save files. You can just continue your existing game, and there's no like button for deleting your playthrough. So you have one save, which is auto-saving, and that's your only game. And I don't know how that works, like when you beat it, is it, I guess, loop through New Game Plus? I Can you ever change what your character looks like? Just very strange. It sounds like it almost sounds like a weird Yoko Taro thing that someone would do and claim they're doing like a little narrative thing like if they're making a point and that's why you have to delete your save at the end or whatever but I don't know Gran I want to learn magic please this again child you know full well your father has forbidden it there are plenty of things more deserving of your interest why not turn your aspirations elsewhere why must you always take father's side? I'd have thought you'd understand how I feel better than anyone. Oh, my game just turned into a little window. C come back. There we go. I guess nobody else saw that, but for me it turned into a little 720p window instead of a full screen. And I'm like, uh, come back. <laughs> Don't know what caused that. Look at the little... There's a little granny. We've not to discuss. You're not the granny. Sorry. <laughs> Why won't they let me study magic? It isn't fair. I 
Do do do. I'm of the opinion that I don't want microtransactions in most games generally anyway. But I feel like we lost the fight uh, almost 20 years ago when everyone complained about horse armor, but then just forgot about that and then stopped complaining about microtransactions. And then everyone was like, actually, we love these. And half the time people will defend it like, wow, it's a nice treat. I love battle passes. So at this point, I'm just like, OK, well, at least my always online single player RPG doesn't have fucking battle passes and loot boxes. And it just has some ignorable microtransactions. This is almost a good example nowadays. Uh, I mean, not as good example of, of Baldur's Gate just being a proper single player release with no online comp uh, forced online components and no uh, like fucky DRM and, al and it allows you to, to mod it and not having microtransactions or expansions or DLC is that's the ideal and they're still updating it anyway despite being done with it not having the prospect of making more money via more sales uh, like by adding pr products like that's the ideal but you can't expect anyone else to be Larian. Only Larian is Larian. There is no other large-scale indie-ish uh, Western RPG developer in the world. Uh, CD Projekt Red was kind of that for a bit, and well, we've seen what they became, so... Yeah, it's just Larian. Uh, Bioware is dead. Everyone else who makes Western RPGs is dead. Uh, so it's, just, it's just Larian. Oh boy. Look forward to the next game in seven years. <laughs> what am I to do with that girl? Would that I could allow her to do as she pleases, but... Tisn't to be. Why won't they let me study magic? Is this a quest? Is there like any... No. Just a little... I just walked in on a little... Little scene, and then I robbed them, and then I and ranted I'm about microtransactions, and now I'm gonna leave. Except it's, now it's dark out, so it's, I'm in danger. Okay, we'll have to see if the story points here at some point. I wonder. Okay, so now it's nighttime, so I'm in danger. We haven't really gone around much at night. I could go for a bit of stargazing. Right, you are. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. This. I say we give it a push and see what happens. <laughs> I suppose I'll handle this. We fuck you, anyone who's downhill from here. Oh, whoa. okay. I'll be fine. I'm fine. This is rather thrilling. She, everyone in my, all of my pawns sound so mad at me all the time. They're so disappointed in me. Oh, there's the boulder. It's still going. Oh, I almost murdered a pawn. All of my party members are so excited about boulders every time we see them, and I'm like, I don't even... Oh. What was that? The Moon Glow Garden. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials Aha, result in Capitalism. <laughs> Fuck you and your natural beauties. Oh, it's a that's definitely somebody's farm. Sorry for uh, ruining your livelihood, but uh, I'm a player what character. Got a question about my training regime? Wow, somebody is self-conscious about something. Suppose that was an unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Hoping to enlist then? No. A pity. No took to the training like you did. I haven't trained with you. I'd hope to add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist of late, and I'm hungry for recruits. Many keep their distance on account of the instructor being a beastron. How very Vermundian of them. At the very least, I'd like to provide some decent training to the soldiers we have now. Easier said than done, especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. Tisn't like to beast their morale having rusted steel to train with. What I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation to grow. That'd light a fire under them, I reckon. Mayhap you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but what else am I to do? Much appreciated. We'd welcome what you can spare. 
Sir Baron's request is quite understandable. Ah, I keep mixing up which button is that. Weaponry and motivated soldiers are the pillars of any military. I miss start and select so much. Okay, so procure weapons and find a motivated soldier. That's open ended. It's very open ended. Where even am I right now? Am I near the? I'm kind of near the outpost. Ended up down here. Kind of meant to go up there. Whoops. Uh, that looks like it might be a dead end. On that end. Okay. He seemed to imply that I trained under him, and I don't. But I don't think he knows that I'm the king. Weapons are simple enough. So it shouldn't be a forgotten memory. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chest. There's no great shock to me. I wonder how many weapons you need for quote unquote weapon. Yeah, it's the weapon I want. I want to be a great sword guy. I need to finish my Blythe transformation. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're going back that way. Alright, gonna have to head back the long way. Whoop. The only thing I would say to everywhere. You are an impatient one, Arisen. That's fine. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. My slight credit to Capcom's approach to microtransactions is just the fact that let's head down to Melv. It's just the fact that they seem almost to include them begrudgingly, or it's like the corporate mandate says to put them in, but then the developers don't care to support them that much so they just like put really pithy little like here's a consumable for money and then the like the video game you're playing never mentions the microtransactions and never points you towards them as far as i can tell because i've played i've played a lot of monster hunter world and oh is it time for something cool Holy attacks, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, I have a spell ca I have one spellcaster, and I don't know if they're even that kind of spellcaster. Yeah. I don't know if I can fight the ghost monster. <laughs> ah, I can fight the ghost monster, it looks like. Maybe? I don't know, I'm getting... Am I doing damage? I'm getting contact noises, but I can't tell if the bar is going down because it's not going down much. Okay, no, we're killing, we're killing it somehow. I believe your foe is drawn to light. We ought to extinguish our lanterns lest we summon it unwittingly. Nah, experience. Ooh, what's that? Smectoplasm, miasmite. I want to collect smectoplasm. It's not a microtransaction apologia, but just like in the context of microtransactions, playing games that never mentioned them is kind of nice. Because I played a lot of Monster Hunter World and Rise, and I played through all of Mon uh, Dead or Life, uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and half the time I didn't know they even had them in the first place, because you have to just go back to the Steam page and read it and look for them to find them that they even exist. And why would I do that? I bought the game already. <laughs> I imagine the returns can't be huge because they don't even advertise them and they're not particularly... Yeah, 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 high five. And they're not particularly obtrusive. So that makes me wonder, even if they'd get that much from them, if they're not pushing them aggressively. But at the same time, uh, they, they're such low effort microtransactions that I imagine any money you make is a profit, I guess. So maybe that's the strategy. They're just like, eh, might as well. Do do do. Uh, I think you can only erase all, or maybe you can set the place the same marker again somewhere else. Anyway, that guy is way the hell up there, and. Uh, I don't, I extremely do not have the stuff that he wants, so it's going to be a, a bit of a problem. So let's go back home and turn the letter in, because I think we might be kind of done around here. 
I don't have any more leads. Let's head on back. Uh, which one of you is the, the uh, you the guy, right? What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills. Say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. Who the fuck are you talking about? Can't you see I'm on duty? So I guess you're not the guy. It must be this guy. Yeah, the feather Apologies, in his cap. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Uh, they depart in the early morning. Okay. I guess he just awkwardly stands here until then. Okay. And I'll, I guess I'll make a big trip back here if I ever find a weapon again. Or a series of weapons to, to bring by again. Is this a different cart? I feel like the cart a second ago was covered. Maybe not. Uh, this feather guy. This ox cart's bound for Burnworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Uh-huh. Why are you so aggressive at your customers? You could just... Like, it's a hundred gold trip. I'm not taking any of you anywhere, for little fucker, until you pay me. I'm like, okay. Yes. We just started this conversation, sir. I'm I'll gonna, take it. <laughs> why did you, why, why? Why are you bringing it up like this? You little gob shite. Okay. Uh-huh. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. All right, no interruptions Indeed. this time. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command. Ah, you've returned. Uh-huh. How did you fare on the journey to Melv? Uh... One attack, really small. Couldn't tell where any of the bad guys were. It was, but it was fine. And, and they got resolved on its own, really. Then I got lost and did some quests I've missed the first time. Splendid! You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Ox carts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. At least I made 5,000 right, gold. Are. But the fact that I just was given the same pants I already bought is just, it's gonna hurt my brain. It's gonna be so sad when I have to downgrade the pants that don't have this much cleavage. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a clip? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh. so, oops, uh-huh, time to immediately sell these pants, because I have the same pants, but, but better, wait, do I have, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I have three, I bought these, and then I got another one from something else, and then got another one from the quest, and it's the same pants. They're all the same pants. I'm gonna take my pants off anyway. Whatever. Well, Time to buy armored pants. Oops. Welcome to Bjorn's art and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Buy. Where are your goodiest pants of them all? Uh, right. It's feet. It's under feet for some reason. Of course, it makes perfect sense. Uh, I wish I could filter to ones made for my class. There we go. Purchase. Yes. Equipped. Sell. Three miners' hosen and a partridge and a pear tree. You check the price. Pants. And then make these more stronger. Uh, I need a second silver ore. I only collected one apparently. Got a funny little wizard's hat. Don't know what to do with that. I'm not a wizard. The ironclad staff. Just remember, misers die early deaths. 
Let's see, I already got the strongest helm he had for my class. This big boy. Yep. Hope to see you again. Just all of, just full of mining pants. That's all I've got. All right, I unequipped my helmet because I was trying to take photos <laughs> for a thumbnail, and then found out that the photo the photo mode in this game is really bad. Not least of which because this is the most you can zoom in. That is not close enough for a close up of your character's face, so it really f fucked me on making the photos. Uh, and then I just ran around without a helm for this episode so far, so I wasn't wearing the armor I bought already. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot. Mainly because I don't want to. I don't want to wear a helmet. I want to see my character I made. All right, so I'm gonna need more silver. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, let's give the staff to the spellcaster. And the wizard hat. The spellcaster. Because it's heavy. Sort by weight. The lantern's pretty heavy. Eh. All of my meat keeps rotting. I have a Cyclops. So there's tons of item enhancement items, but they're just so scattershot throughout the game. I gotta find, like, a storage thing. Oh, it's just gonna I'm sit on the floor I'm here. With the That's awkward. Hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. These pants are disappointingly lacking in... Cleavage. That was a bit. While you're here, eh? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? You just said that. The fairy stone. Stone that can instantly spirit the user back to the location of a set port crystal. <gasps> oh god, it costs ten thousand gold. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Mundane camping kit. Grass patterned camping kit. Uh Sturdy against monsters that prowl. Is it a camouflage camping kit? Wait, no, don't. Oh, wait, that's just armor I don't have yet. Okay. I was like, am I about to find gear that's stronger than my current gear? Because I'm going to be. I'm going to lose my mind. Looks like it's more royal gear. Not going to lie. He looks, he looks pretty good in that. Archer's armor. I just. I just don't. I just like how in MMOs you can make your character look different from what they're wearing. Is the fairy stone single use or multiple use? It says times one. Does gear, well, but gear says times. Well, that's because you could buy more than one of a gear. I don't know. Almost every video game ever made would benefit from doing a better job at explaining whether items are single use or permanent or not. Uh, and having like an iconography that makes that clear. Because that has a significant impact on whether or not you want an item half the time, and they usually fail to communicate that to you. Anyway, I'm just going to steal from you now. I will say this is the one place where I have performance problems, is when I'm in the actual city. It definitely seems to be... The frame rate when I spin the camera definitely feels lower than before. And I wonder... What is the shadows? Oh, shadow cache. Let's see. Contact shadows. Slightly reduce some shadow stuff. S reflections. That looks like it has a big load. Mesh quality. I can't even tell in the screenshot what this is doing. <laughs> Resource intense effects quality. Oh, low turns the fire off, basically. Got it. Shadow quality. I'm a big fan of mid shadows. Weapons are simple enough to Not a huge difference. <laughs> Spinning the camera makes the game a little angry. as you say. Okay, so one of my goals was to meet up with my guy at nighttime. And we also met a little scamp who ran away from a guard, but not very effectively because he just stood in plain sight and talked to me in front of the guard. I am 
time to admit it. I haven't the knowledge to guide you on that quest. Perhaps you should hire a pawn who does. I'm so confused by this game's approach to just letting you steal from everything. Feels very strange. Yeah, I kind of want to just do a lap and just kind of see if people run out at me. That's what the game seems to love to do is just have people ambush me at random. Be like, oh, I've got a quest for you! Another one of these? Does this go somewhere else? I'm not, don't await Ox. I want to ask about it. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Okay, I, I think this is the cart that goes to the other town in the other direction. So we're reintroducing Morrowind-style commutes. But I also think that the way the logic of this game works is that you need to unlock the next commute by getting to wherever the next town is. And then it's like, oh, you cleared the path, kind of. Now I can take you there. Because I, I had to come all the way down this path, and then I could do the fast travel version of that path. And that worked out just fine. Whoa! There's something hilariously Assassin's Creedy about your character just like flinging themselves everywhere when you try to run a little bit. Shirtless in the noble quarter. He gets. Yeah, it's, uh, I would love. Oh, <laughs> there's my character shove him. Restricted entry. There are some locations that are entirely off limits and others which you will only be permitted to entry on specific times of day. For instance, if a guard catches you on the palace grounds at night, you will be apprehended and thrown in jail for trespassing. There are also certain locations that forbid pawns from entering the premises altogether. Masquerades are highly uh, are regularly held in Vernworth Castle's Masquerade Hall, and may afford you an opportunity to make the acquaintance of important individuals. They'll never recognize the eight-foot-tall cat man. However, masquerades are formal occasions, and you will only be permitted to attend if you are wearing suitable attire. The master, I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. You're standing in the middle of a place. Hi. Is there aught you require, sir? I'm so fucking tall. <laughs> Bless this game for allowing this nightmare to happen. This might be a struggle going forward, is just the signposting of which NPCs are important, because there's so many of them. It's sincerely hard to tell who might have something for you. It's definitely not necessarily placement either. The latest tidings from Melv came as quite a shock. It's been decades since the dragon last appeared. It was a tragedy to those who suffered the beast's attack, to be sure. But I cannot deny it gave me a sense of hope. I thought to myself, with the dragons coming, the Arisen shan't be far behind. An end to the Age of Proxies at last. And indeed, we have our Sovereign. Though he is yet abed, nursing those grievous wounds. Still, that I would see this kingdom restored to rightful rule in my lifetime. Ah, I could weep for joy. I thought myself today. Oh my goodness. Is this the... Oh, this is the intro room. I, I'm just walking in here. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I just walked into the throne room. Hey, I'll just rob the king. This is just... a... <laughs> it's a strange video game. <laughs> a cape granted to those who have, the, have proven their loyalty to the kingdom. Of late, some have been sold to merchants in a bid to, of, to fill emptying coffers. <laughs> oh no, it clips so much. No! Ugh, this is a Capcom game. Ugh. Don't worry, the titties are free. I just walked into the throne room and picked up a, a, a royal cape. 
I know that I'm supposed to be the king, but somehow nobody recognizes me, even though I look the same, presumably. Which is weird. I guess the Superman thing, where it's not that Superman needs a, supposedly Allard's chambers. Supposedly, Superman doesn't need a, a disguise, is one of the explanations that comes up. Because, like, about who would ever expect some guy to be Superman? Like, that's so impossible to the brain that you can just look like Superman, but be a regular dude in glasses, and everyone would be like, yeah, it's, that's Clark. He's not Superman. Superman, Superman. You don't, you, Superman's not going to be working at the Daily Bugle. That'd be stupid. <laughs> a historic account, chapter two. Can you give me chapter one? Turn the page. Go, it's the left side of the book. In Vermund, the one with the power to overcome the dragon, known as the Arisen, is enthroned as sovereign, while in Batal, the protection of the lambent flame is held as absolute, believed to prevent the advent of calamity. Curiously, the two nations are at odds regarding pawns, those crossers of the rift. In Vermund, they are deemed faithful attendants of the sovereign, while in Batal, they are viewed as harbingers of misfortune. Is Batal the region where the mine was? Oh, I guess this is an area where your pawns aren't supposed to allowed to come with you. Because they, they are not with me. I think Batal might have been where the prologue happened. Because, uh... Where does this go? Why did that music just do that? That's because it's nightfall and I'm not allowed to be here now. Even though I walked right past somebody. Uh, but like those people enslave pawns and like are mean to them and like that poor pawn, the pawns I talked to in that opening thing were like, oh, I, think I have time to deal with you. I've got my own problems. And like they don't, they were all mean to me, but I'm the Arisen and all the other pawns seem to recognize that I'm the Arisen at a glance. They don't need to like, it's like they innately can tell I'm the Arisen. So why were the pawns... Uh, in the other region not acting like that if they're also still pawns. I, I don't know. In general, the idea that the pawns are just servants with no particular personality or desires is muddied significantly by the fact that this game is also making them all have personalities and having them like be like snarky or complain and whiny and these are all in things that indicate towards like, the, the idea that maybe they do have opinions and personalities and maybe I am the best. <laughs> Please go down the ladder. There we go. Oop. But if they're if they're capable of being miserable in the introduction and not liking their job, and they're also giving me pushback, it's starting to feel like they're just people and maybe this whole thing might be unethical. I can't entirely tell what they're going for there. Unless this game's gonna do like a Pokemon XY or black and white or whichever one it was, because I don't play Pokemon, where they like do interrogate that. Friendly rats or angry rats? It's really hard to pick up an item in here. Those strange collectibles. Okay, don't worry. Okay, it's nighttime. I'm gonna get on task, I promise. I wasn't trying to kill time or waste time or wander. I was just trying to figure out how to find quests in this game because we're still feeling it out because it's, uh, they're kind of hard to find unless the character literally just ambushes you and you're like, forced cutscene, hi, I have a quest. Did you know that I need help with my rats? Eh. All right, am I even back to where I'm allowed to be yet? Hi. And who, pray tell, are you supposed to be? The king? How does anybody not know I'm the king? Did I did my appearance change? But like that one lead guard knight man general dude, whatever his title was, knew who I was. So it seems like people should know who I am. I understand people like commoners not necessarily knowing because you don't get to see the king a lot, probably. But the people around here seem like they should know what the king looks like. Portcullis. Use a fairy. St use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. 
Port crystals are permanent fixtures in cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at, st at destinations of your choice. So this was in the last game. I remember this kind of, but I don't remember the exact rules. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any time. Once placed, the port crystals can be recovered. They wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone direct destinations. Okay, so there is fast travel. Say, you've got a decent arm on you. Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I'm doing something. This is the guy that was mentioned earlier, though, that, uh... All the way back when in the other town? They were like, that Humphrey kid. You should train him or something. And I'm like, I've never met this person you're talking about. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Were you in the woods? How did you see that? I've only killed two Cyclops eye in the middle of the woods. One of them was in that river location where you definitely couldn't see me. Pray, sir. Teach me to fight like you do. I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? Tell him about Baron. And this Baron fellow. He's a real warrior. Oh, this is the hook for the other quest that said find a, a guy for him to train, the lion, all the way out in the woods. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this baron and see what he can teach me. Okay. That just happened at me. <laughs> I'm getting still getting the vibe for this quest. There's, there's definitely some you can miss. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Some of these quests just love Fair to enough. shove themselves in your face. All right, so what's your deal? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. Is this just a reminder of what the main quest you is? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. Okay. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. Consider thy path with a cautious eye and an open mind, lest the light of revelation forsake thee. Wow, you're useless. You've my gratitude. Wow, she just does fortune cookies. That's that's the extent of, <laughs> of her advice. What What great divination. If the way forward is shrouded to you, I can offer guidance. Tis lovely to see you. Well, we're never speaking again. Bye. Is that a coffin? Actually, yeah, probably. Probably is. Alright, so we're gonna meet at the tavern at night. So it's probably a star drop in. But if not, it might be this one, Walter's Tavern. Just check. It probably says. But it is now nighttime, so I can meet with my bud. Star drop in. Okay. It's deeply ironic that I just went around trying to find any kind of narrative hook, and then the moment I gave up, someone ran up to me and talked to me, as if to taunt me. Let's see. There he is. I'm like, that's not him. I'm like, did he come in playing Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. What to make of this? Well, this is our secret talking spot. 
No one could ever overhear us out here, outdoors, with a convenient <laughs> underneath staircase for eavesdropping on important meetings. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect a Delta. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the Sovereign, that is, the False Arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your Majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Tell me of monster calling. How do I know to ask for this? The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Yeah. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Vernworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. It is our duty to bring the beasts low. Okay. We have not to fear if we default to the experience at our disposal. Weren't there two more quests though? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of the Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. Damn, if I had this objective one minute ago, I would have been great. I was already in there. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? Yeah. I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of the magistrate. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Okay. Now I set all of them as priority as, as I got them, but... What is this? Is it just a chance to sit down? Yes. It was, it was glowing at me the whole time. It was very distracting. Anyone here look like a quest giver? Hello. 
Ma'am, you're performing on a stage. If, it, if, if, you had a, if you didn't catch my eye, you're doing a terrible job. Oop. Okay, I'm okay. Him chop their head off. Whoa. This ladder can take us to new heights. The ladder? Wow. Where's the ladder this time, guys? I can't wait to find the ladder. They don't even point out what they're observing, so I'm just like, what are you remarking on? It's so funny. Okay. Let's look at the map. Let's see if I can discover the palace dungeons. It briefly shut up for a second there right before I left. Let's see. It showed a circle right when I hit B. It does. It's right when you hit B as if to taunt me. Rude. All right, well, it's time to go back up to the castle again, I guess. You gotta find a way into the dungeons. Oh, the pawn guild. Let's maybe chat with these people. Interested in my wares? Ambivalent rift incense. Mysterious scent gives the pawn a different inclination and voice to match. So you can change what each character is like. Art of, Meta Art of Metamorphosis. Special tome that allows the Arisen to edit their own appearance or the appearance of a pawn. Okay, so that's just in the game and it's not even very expensive. Disciples spectacles, you can have little glasses. You can have funny little glasses. Uh, an affectation oft assumed by nobles. While they do give off an intellectual impression, impression one cannot expect them to deflect even the dullest blade. Wait, am I aware? Let's try a character. I don't see them. Do I see them? Oh, I think I do. T I wish you could zoom in at all. Like, it's so hard to see. They are wearing them. Is Blythe wearing them under the... He's wearing the... He's wearing it under the helmet? That's very funny. So I guess these are just cosmetic changes. So you can even put on, like, glasses and stuff. And it will let you do that. That is funny. They are expensive. I don't have much Rift, rift credits. So I guess this is just a way to spend those when you don't know what else to do with them. Many thanks. Many thanks. More walk. Oh, this is the big rift. Yep. And this comes out the other side. Am I near this thing? Yep. I'm back here now. Alright, so before I try to go in, I might as well try to save. But, I don't know. We'll see what the consequences be if I get caught. If you're not allowed on the palace grounds, I wonder if they lock the door or in any way stop you from walking in, or do they just arrest you the moment you happen to be in the area without any signposting that you crossed the threshold you weren't supposed to? We have found a material. Yeah? Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Well, thanks, guys. I'm not even entirely sure where the boundaries of the city begin. I guess that wall, maybe? Let's see. Now, this is just the noble quarter. So these people should just be defending people, but not necessarily keeping me out. Can I pick these flowers? Nope. <clears throat> So we're not we're not necessarily actually in the the keep yet. Tis our duty to see this peace protected. So that's probably the castle. Just loop around the side and see if I can retrace my steps for however I got out the first time. this place like what 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 
This door goes nowhere. What? <laughs> I do not believe we are acquainted. It's the same lady from earlier, so I'm near where I was. If only somebody would detect a ladder right now. Unfortunately, I think I dropped off. I, dro I dropped off of roofs. It's gonna be a challenge to get around now. Well, if nothing else, I should turn off my lantern. Pro tip, don't have a lantern when you're trying to stealth. Now, how best to proceed. What stands out to me is I don't even know if I can crouch. Well, at last. Click stick, click stick, click click. No, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Man, they really... <laughs> us, us. A sword drawn is a debt incurred. This is where the bourgeois is. I wonder if this is any helpful. Do you know how? Oh, the board, the bordellery. Establishment that cares, cares the vices of the nobility and the wealthy elite. A card membership is required to gain entry to the 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 bordel, but bordel, 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 bordel. <laughs> and its services are only available to those who can afford them. Courtesans to please the various tastes can be found on every floor, but the services of those on the third floor are not available to new visitors of the establishment. Only prized patrons who make frequent use of the the services are entitled to purchase the platinum card that will allow them to. Enjoy the company of these elusive, uh, ex exclusive courtesans. My apologies, sir, but as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through. Can I become a member of the My establishment? My apologies, sir, but as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through. Okay. I guess that's all you get from that. Where does this go? Someone's going over here. I quite like it here. <laughs> I see. All right. Well. To see this piece uh. Let's see if anyone gets mad at me. Are the arisen? Yes. The captain gave me your description. Follow me. What? I thought this was a stealth mission. I had to find a way to not- they said don't get caught. Now, now I'm just following someone, okay. Everyone's so small! Once again, why did they need my description? Don't you guard the palace? You don't know what the, what the sovereign looks like? I'm, it's it's starting to feel like a mistake almost where I'm starting to wonder like if if, if, if instead it's a, a foreshadowing a reveal. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Be cautious, Your Majesty. I'm wondering if the implication is the guardhouse. Oh, cool! This will be a great way to avoid the guards. I'm starting to wonder if they're foreshadowing like the idea that I'm actually the usurper if nobody recognizes me ah okay well wow i'm just covered in marcher's gear i already had all of these damn uh Marchers, this is what I'm equipping. I can't give I can't give items away. Here, now they'll think I'm a guard, right? That disguises work in this game. Writings of a soldier on duty. I cannot help but think it's strange. Pawns used to loiter around the riftstones in droves, but I've not seen a single one of them for some time now. It is difficult to imagine where they might have gone. I wonder if this bears reporting. I feel like everybody would have noticed, right? Uh, oh, there's the jail tower, but that's where I came from. 
I think she's guiding me into the keep. So I should probably select the... Ah, goddammit. Probably pick the Desa's plot one, and that probably will give me a bit more help here. Slip into the palace of the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn, and search the Queen's Regent's office for incriminating evidence. There. Oh, I'm near it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very near it. Okay. Hopefully everyone thinks that I'm, I belong here. That's me going... Currently going further away. Big main hall from earlier. No guards, please, no guards, please, no guards, please. I don't know how to get around in here. Money can buy comfort, sure, but not happiness. Well, he's not a guard. It's the same dude is just always at the same staircase, just hanging out. Is that a thing under there? Man, I am slow right now. Whoop! Oh, dude, there's stairs. <laughs> The guy beneath me? Aha! This wasn't so tough. I say seconds before my failure. Who's there? Uh, a guard. A normal guard. Pray, keep your voice low. Wouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Disa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. It is clear that we are allied in purpose. Bro, we barely met. I was like, uh, he went the, he went the other way. That's our interaction. I didn't I didn't narc on you once. I don't know who you are. <laughs> How do you recognize me? My word! You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Right outside of our roof, out of the entire palace. It's very funny. Also, if you didn't know that the re if the sovereign was faked, then what did you think her plans were? Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the regent kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest. But I have a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. Or I'll hop out this window. Sven, where have you been? Oh! Oh! I sleep. I'm fine. I, thought a stroll might clear my I was kind of joking, so I wasn't I wasn't completely prepared for it to actually work. I think that was what the cutscene was maybe implying. I kind of thought it was bugging out a little bit. But maybe it meant to do that. It's gonna kind of skirt the guards, I guess? This game doesn't have, like, stealth moves or even crouching, so... Just don't walk right up to the guards, I guess, and that's probably good enough. There's the front door. <laughs> there, I'm on the side. You can't oh, catch good. me. Hi, you guys. Return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Oop. I was a little surprised by how easily I jumped out the window. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I wasn't entirely ready to come in. A ladder, is it? How convenient. <gasps> a ladder! Ah, excellent find. Goodness me. Golly gee.
Alright, the predicament. Hello. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's... How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? A fragment of a letter that was torn to shreds. You could just make out the crest of Batal and the name Disa. Best you showed this to Captain Brent. This scrap. Twas part of a letter. And from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but tis clear that Deezer's schemes run deep. To think, Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deezer is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deezer's focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you, take this. It seems we were right to suspect the Queen Regent. We ought to keep an eye on her in the days to come. These questions pay a lot. I know not what to make of this. These quests pay a lot. Dang. Okay, now that I'm, you guys are nearby again, help. <laughs> help. I'm so heavy. I'm so heavy. Another cloak. <laughs> oh, rotten. It's rotten. I leave them all on the floor here. <laughs> I guess those are the things that I can't combine so easily and they just go bad in my inventory. Whoops. There we go. It seems like when you process stuff, process stuff in the goods, it's less likely to go bad overall. I am currently a heavy boy. Phases. Now there's a name to remember. Yep. Wait a minute. Why are the names Walter and Zonic? <laughs> Wait. I sense eyes upon us. Contend with your pursuer. Who? If you want my advice, heed no advice, save your own. Okay. Oh no, the garbage I leave on the floor stays on the floor. Well met, son. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality is what you need. Maybe when I sleep it'll go away. I should just sell off my excess armor. Should I give it to you? There we go. I don't know if she wears the gear I give her or not. So for you, chick, many thanks. I appreciate the business. All right, so sun's still down, so I should go check out the prison next. Everyone's busy with their own and see if I can get away with that. Because then if we wrap up the stuff here in town, I can just go back out and explore. Don't know who our pursuer is, though, or how that'll pay off, or when that'll show up. I cannot afford another. Let's see. Can I click on this map to look at it better? There you go. I think the jail towers... The jail towers on the left when I go in. Tis our duty to see this peace protected. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. 
Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Don't look at me, I'm in the dark. That means I'm invisible. Giant ox. Almost there. The jail tower must be that a one. Which means I need to go up a floor. I think that's a ramp or stairs over there. Oh, an ox cart comes here too. Oh, you don't see me. Whoa, that was that sound. Maybe I am invisible. I don't know. I don't think I can that easily tell where I'm allowed to be or not. <laughs> you think this would be mostly off limits too. You've come. Captain Brant bad me allow you passage. Bad is not bad. Okay, I'm starting to think this isn't really a stealth mission. <laughs> they really make it sound like you have to avoid guards, but it seems like you can just walk right in and nothing matters. Unless this disguise really does work. But I don't think the game introduced disguises. So is that just me being really clever or am I imagining it? Because it does seem like there's just no detection system, basically, unless you do a crime. Which is funny, because the first thing that happened when I got into town was I got immediately uh, arrested for walking near a door once. Still not going to try to confront the guards in here. Okay. Nope, not check Yeah, check the quest. Uh, wrong quest is selected. That would do it. The caged magistrate. The magistrate Waldhar. Somewhere just around. It's in here. You have to watch out for all these guards, I guess. I don't know which one's Waldar. I'd rather not draw steel if I can avoid it. What? Gallad. They seem to just be walking in a circle, so if I just kind of keep moving. <laughs> I don't know if there's if I can get caught or not, and I'm scared. No easy thing. Oh, I just walked right into that guy. Okay, maybe they never see me. Which one of you is Waldar? There's like no people here, so it must be that guy. There is a light next to him, which is level design to indicate that's the guy. Much worn out here. And have you come to release me from this jail? Why am I standing like this? The Overson. No ho! Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Just let me whip out my chest again. Ah. They say the Arisen's breast bears a wound akin right. to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be Arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen. The one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar. Whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Urge him to escape, urge him to stop talking. <laughs> 
Please escape. Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. He does not care that I'm the king. Like, huh? Whatever your interests are. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, bye. Oop. Item? Chest. Now I need to go find a library or something so this guy can move on. Makeshift jail key. Why do they have makeshift keys? They, they, are, they are the... the jailers. <laughs> okay, these guards don't care about me. The... the theming of this quest and the literal dialogue surrounding it just... false advertised the situation and made me think I had to be way more careful and not just walk straight in like nothing was happening. As far as I can tell. Maybe it's cut content, like features that they never implemented, because uh, adding a whole stealth system is a bit, a bit wild. And it's really goofy when a game like Zelda tries to have stealth in it, when that's not what the rest of the game was built around. Well, sun's up. But yeah, it could also be that the, uh, the armor is successfully stealth. So, oh my god, the sun moved fast. Look at it go. What is this, Final Fantasy XIV? Anyway, I'm back outside now, and now the titties must be freed. There we go. There, my birthright! <laughs> it's just like every time I need to prove that I'm that I'm the king, just... Uh, just rip your shirt, all the buttons fly off, and dent windows and shit. <laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> this cleavage be my birthright, and then, and then everyone's... It is the king! Whoa! <laughs> Just the dumbest, gayest fucking uh, universe ever made. It's, it's hilarious. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. All right. Well, with that done, I think it's time for us to switch over to. I don't know what to. I don't think I can follow this one. One doesn't give me anything to do, so we just gotta wait for that one. So time for some monster culling in these three locations. Let's get to it. Okay, so Trevo Mine, Harv Village, and uh, yeah, Eastern Edge of Vermund. Are this just all on the big, big map? If I look out here. Oh, there, out, out there. Okay, well, I've almost made it there. I was like about to make it there when I was trying to figure out what to do earlier. Yep! Go! <laughs> Time to go out to the outside world again, where my game runs well. Because I really wasn't having performance problems until I got to town. <laughs> Y'all, did you know there's a ladder here? We are the knights who love to point out ladders. Some call us the... Ladder Day Saints. Don't die in the water. Okay. <laughs> like, is this water dangerous? It's just like they're farming water. It's extremely funny to me how uh, when you fall off cliffs, you just like lurch forward. Very particular appearance. Ooh. If I fall in the water, I will die instantly. This actually makes my uh, my leap of faith off the cliff at the beginning of the game all the more upsetting because at the time I didn't remember the water being dangerous. I think that might have been the last game, but that didn't stick with me. But like, if I it, it wasn't a matter of like will I hit these rocks or not. It's that if I even if I landed in the water, I would die. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it. I'm sure. Rat. Aww. 
Giant rats are really cute. If you make the rats really big to the point where they're almost dog sized, they just get really they just they just become dog. They're just very cute. As long as you don't do the mean video game thing of being like, and now it's covered in boils and scars and it's horrible. It's like, oh it's a rat. Look at him. I like rats. You shouldn't play with random rats, but that's true for like all wildlife, so that's not really noteworthy. Alright, well, I've wasted enough time on this person's farm, ruining their life. Oh, I have to go all the way back around, okay. Can I also steal their fish? I'd wager there's ought to be found here. God, I suck. How best to proceed. Is that a collect that's the collectible. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? It's just sitting on the shore in the open. Whoa, what a secret hiding spot. Dang. I never would have found that myself. <laughs> Oh wow, thank you, Leon, for bringing me rotten fish. You really are a cat. I brought- I found a horrible corpse, would you like it? I made it special, master. Why is there money? Why does the random Debris have cash in it? If it's from a shipwreck, how is the money going with the random pieces of wood? And if it's not from a shipwreck, who is stashing their money in their weird wood pile? The fight? I'll help. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. <laughs> Have you considered stabbing? I think their weakness is stabbing. I get what they're doing. They're doing like these like monster hunter style like handler barks where they keep trying to give you little tips. But it's funny when they're like, oh no, we can't ex we can't exploit their weakness. And it's like, uh, it's not an earth elemental, it's just a goblin. <laughs> their weakness is you stab them to death. <laughs> Ow. I'm impressed by just how staggerable I am overall. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought I heard something. <laughs> Time for our first real fight out of nowhere. Oh, it's hunting the bison. Ow. Nope, climb up. I'm riding the griffin. Yeah. Fuck you, McElroy. That's a stupid joke. Oh, this thing has a lot of health. Oh, this thing's got a lot of health. Uh, we have no means of exploiting this creature's weakness. <laughs> I'm about to run out of stamina. I ran out of stamina. Uh-oh. Help. Thanks, y'all. I don't think I'm ready for this fight. I'm gonna pull on his leg. Maybe he'll fall over. Not Saurians. No, don't kill Leon. I need Leon helping with the real fight. Tail whip. Aha! Good! Oh, bison, why? I am dealing with a lot right now, man. Can you not? Uh. Okay, bye.
Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to fight. Its tail is vulnerable? It makes the same sound as that dragon from Demon Souls. They're still using the same stock noise for the Demon Souls dragon does every time it lights the bridge on fire. Its tail is vulnerable. Okay. Not that vulnerable. <laughs> Maybe it'll fly off and then it'll take a huge spike of damage all at once. Is it leaving, leaving? It's I leaving, leaving. Mercy. Ah, I leveled up anyway. Probably because of the other stuff that was in the fight. Well, that was exciting. Uh, I definitely can't handle that guy. Absolutely not. <laughs> we made an attempt. Oh, or are these guys the ones that whose tails are vulnerable? Because I can cut their tails off. Because once again, you can't tell who your pawns are talking about or what they're talking about. They just shout random things about something. Can I pick up the tail? I have a Saurian tail as a crafting goal. So why doesn't the tail drop? Huh. So that ballista did a ton of damage. Apparently. Doggy, no. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> it's, it's, I feel bad, but it's so funny. Ow. Oh, he jumped off a cliff. I'll get there one day. <laughs> this is the meanest I've ever been to dogs in a video game because they made this this attack so funny. <laughs> no! No, he got air juggled by the arrows. He got double may cried. <laughs> no! You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Stop observing me. Nope, that sounds like another big guy. Oh, it's just another one of these guys. I don't really want to find another Cyclops. I've done it enough lately. I would like a third or a second elite enemy type to fight. That isn't just an untouchable griffin. I think the... They just say that every time. No, I'm tired. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I need to stop using abilities. It really does backfire so fast. Yeah, my 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 recruited pawns just got renamed to Zonic and Walter at some point. Oh well now you did it. Okay, I guess I'll level up. He's an easy enough fight anyway. Not if you do that. Nope. Ooh, gathering. Nah. Mm. Having less luck than before. <laughs> Look out, Arisen. We're under attack. Uh huh. Very good, Leon. Yeah, I'm gonna need some stronger weapons. We'll see how that Griffin reacts when I get a nice broadsword and can two-handed great or great sword. Just a oop. Oh, I ran out of stamina. I goofed it. Oh, I goofed it. Oh, I goofed it, and everybody's dying. Okay. Oh, do you revive people? No, you don't. You're just running over to him, but not gonna help. Okay. Leon! Bye bye. Oh, they they pick up they pick each other up. Can't have our folks 
I'm about to get murdered. Ow. Ow! The loss gauge. We take damage. Not only is your health resume, so is your maximum health. Loss gauge represents this temporary reduction and is likely to uh, accumulate if you don't have rest between battles. Your maximum health will be reduced even after the battle is over and you'll be able to recover it. Loss gauge will only be recovered if resting in an inner campsite. Yeah, we know that. More importantly, I died. Which owie? So we're having a tough time, huh? i just carry you away. Okay, I'll try to distract him a little bit while I do this. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, my stamina, no. I don't think that that's true. Ah! <laughs> He's got reach. Keep him busy for just a second. Gah! Oh, I tried jumping over and it didn't work. Oh, how did Walter get up? Oh, because you AoE res. Yeah, you can AoE it. Just politely waiting for the heal. There we go. Stabby. Stab. Stabbing. Stab. Stabbing. Okay, I'm gonna die now. I keep forgetting this just like random guys interfering. Go away. We're dealing with real enemies here. Oop. There he goes. Thank, thank you, surprise guy. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. I think I want to hire you because you're higher level and you're also a. Let's get rid of you. I recruited an extra archer earlier by accident. Be well, Arisen. I'm not one for tearful goodbyes, but I must admit, I've grown rather fond of you. Well, I'll never see you if again. Bye. If you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. This character was designed by the gayest man to ever play this game. Specializations are skills that can only be used or can only be acquired by pawns. They're not strictly beneficial. <laughs> well, but they allow the pawn to to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove very useful and are well worth trying out. If you would like your pawn to learn a specialization, you will do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. The pawn can only acquire a, a one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. If I see a big, a big belly furry character, I know exactly what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I know who did this. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? The soldiers delivering freight were last spied near the. <laughs> there he is, the guy I got rid of. That's not far from here. We have our gratitude. Lead the way. Yep, yeah, let's do it. But he knows where the quest is. He's already leading me there. Granted, it was already on my map, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll let him feel really cool. A hobgoblin? Oh, is that the hobgoblin? Oh god, you guys, stop dying. It's bad for, death is bad for you. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Running makes me run out of stamina between fights. I keep accidentally starting fights with no stamina and immediately getting myself in danger because I just was trying to move quickly in the giant map. Right, we need to replace Zonic. Or previously Mew Mew. So if I remember correctly, when I recruited them, they were like level 8 and 9, and now I'm like level 12, and this new guy's 12, so that's doing good. Over here, if you please. Where are you going? Look there. I aspire another statue. What say? Mark it in our minds. Why did you pull me back towards these guys? Put me in danger. Oh, he's dead as fuck. I'll take all this free stuff, but we were trying to go somewhere. Ooh. Camping supplies! <sighs> Oh wait, I, have, I think I got another beetle that I haven't eaten yet. There you go. Two. I need to find his... That's that's the real collectible. Fuck these tokens unless I actually find a thing that they're good for. But I need, I need carrying capacity. I have so little carrying capacity. Help me. Uh, give to you. Constantly handing off all my stuff because everything is so heavy. <laughs> I don't even have that many items by most standards. Okay, uh, combine. I'm not being very choosy with my crafting. I'm mostly just trying to not have all the things that obviously rot in my inventory rot in my inventory. Take care not to lose sight of me. All right, where are you going, buddy? Blueberries. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Is that you again? It is you again. No, not these guys. Quick, I don't want the harpies to come here. Nope, oh, I hear s snoring. Follow me. That might be another giant. I don't wanna. Eh, he successfully led us somewhere instead of the other person that didn't. Protect the shipment! Steal yourself! Cut the fiends down! There goes the big guy immediately. How did this happen? Oh! You must defend the cargo. They're a tenacious lot. Good. Shield bash is so damn strong. <laughs> Not only can it do a lot of fall damage or knock them off cliffs entirely, but it primes them for getting obliterated. What's a bad idea? We came all the way here for this fight. Oh. Let us press on with our next objective. I kind of thought it was going to be huge. I thank you for coming to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. I thought there was going to be like pretty big local monster infestation quests akin to helping the Witcher with his uh akin to like the act the first chapter of the Witcher where you help out with the uh with the uh the griffin there At the very least like maybe a unique boss or just a larger problem 
That was kind of just a normal fight, like the ones I've done everywhere. So I'm like, oh, the quest is just for those? Okay. At least it'll take me closer to spots on the map. So I'm going to go investigate what this place is. Because I feel like we were brought out here for a reason. Well, this place is difficultly vertical. That, that part in particular is what really reminds me of, uh... Am I being chased by a boar? That part in particular is what really reminds me of Monster Hunter, is getting to the bones and pl and picking at them like that. Yes! Wait, I think... Leon! I gotta go back to the fight that we just did. I just remembered that I saw... I think I saw a beetle there, and then I was like, I'll get it after the fight, and then I didn't. I'm heavy again. Ah! I will protect you. You weren't even that stealthy. I saw you. You're just fast. Uh. Keep on them, Arisen. Is Last big fight? What did I just hear? I shall finish this for the Arisen. I hear big, right? I hear big? Uh-huh! Oh, boy! Uh-huh! It's a really cool Minotaur! I'm gonna die. Great! And everyone's dead. Please aggro on that random person. Hmm. It's a really cool monster, but the game, even the game's like, yo, dude, don't do this. He will obliterate you, just like that guy just went down. I need better gear, I guess. Ooh, he makes the whole ground tremble. Ooh, and he's got four health bars. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> ah! Ew. Oh, he's angrier now? Oh, great. Oh, oh. I meant to grab Zonic. Please get up. Please get up. Please get up. Okay, I guess I got iframes from that for a minute. Let's look for a healing item real quick. Uh-huh. Uh, eat beetle. Eat the beetle. Uh. Uh-huh. Maybe they can use those to heal a little bit sometimes. You supply them. I just I need. Oh, I need Leon awake. We can ill afford to rush headlong into battle. He charged into a wall and got stuck, yay. Is this AoE? Ah! Don't hit me. Damn it. I just, I just want, I just want them to leave with me. I don't want to leave them to die. That's all I'm trying to do. Damn it, Leon's dead. To... Leon's the one I really got to rescue. He's mine. Okay. Let's see. You definitely feel helpless in this game when you're too weak, because I don't really feel like I have the tools with which to fight this guy. Not like my weapons don't do damage and I don't really have like other abilities or buttons to press for the most part. I just do the one thing and I'm not and I'm not very good at it yet. 
Uh, I'm just trying to get you guys alive at the same time and run. To me, 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 Leon's dead again. <sighs> I just want Leon to be alive instead of dead. There's the beetle. I'm level 14. Ah, he's still here. I thought, the sound, I thought that meant the fight was over and he'd be gone. Maybe he'll go away? Anyway, what was the marker on the map? <laughs> Eastern Forest. That's okay, not a specific. There's not like a town there. Hi! No! To me. 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 Sheva! Come on! Come on! Sheva! Come on! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Ooh, chest. Ooh. Now hear me out, because I do have a dastardly little plan. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. That's fine. Wait here. Stop moving. Okay, you guys stay here. I'm gonna see if I can find the Minotaur again. <laughs> Buddy, 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 buddy. Best friend. Uh oh. Can you not leave? Are you stuck there? Maybe if I come up here, he'll jump. Okay, no, he was just doing his rearing up, and I went out of his aggro range. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's tired. He's been impaled. <laughs> he fell over and was just like, uh, I'm sad now. Master, watch out. <laughs> Not that guy. Not Shia. You guys weren't supposed to follow me. To me. To me. To me. To me. To me. Sheva. To me. Yes! That's another level. <laughs> That's not good, though. Um, you guys didn't listen to me and my amazing, perfect plan. And now you're dead on that side of the bridge. Which is a few problems. Uh, I don't care about the other pawns, but Leon... They said pawns are forfeit if they you don't revive them. That doesn't include Leon, right? He's my guy. I'm sure I can get him back. I'm gonna have to visit this now. Hopefully this brings Leon back or something. Forfeit main pawn. If your main pawn becomes forfeit, you only need to touch a riftstone to return them to your side. Okay. for harvesting ingredients. There he is. My humblest thanks for restoring me, Arisen. Sorry about those people. They were too stupid to live. I had a genius plan, and y'all didn't fucking listen to me. Why would you doubt me? I am perfect. <laughs>